Question 1. When merging onto a highway, you should A. Speed up to match the flow of traffic. B. Slow down and wait for a gap in traffic. C. Stop and wait for a gap in traffic. Answer. A. Speed up to match the flow of traffic. When merging onto a highway, you should speed up to match the flow of traffic and merge when it is safe to do so. Question 2. True or false? When turning left at a green traffic light, you have the right of way over oncoming traffic. Answer. False. When turning left at a green traffic light, you must yield to oncoming traffic as they have the right of way. Question 3. In Kentucky, drivers must yield the right of way to pedestrians. A. Only at marked crosswalks. B. Only at unmarked crosswalks. C. At both marked and unmarked crosswalks. Answer. C. At both marked and unmarked crosswalks. Drivers in Kentucky must yield the right of way to pedestrians at both marked and unmarked crosswalks. Question 4. True or false? You may pass a school bus with its red lights flashing and stop arm extended if you are on the opposite side of a divided highway. Answer. True. You may pass a school bus with its red lights flashing and stop arm extended if you are on the opposite side of a divided highway, as long as there is a physical barrier or unpaved median separating the roadways. Question 5. When parking uphill with a curb, you should turn your wheels. A. Toward the curb. B. Away from the curb. C. Parallel to the curb. Answer. B. Away from the curb. When parking uphill with a curb, you should turn your wheels away from the curb to prevent your vehicle from rolling into traffic if the brakes fail. Question 6. True or false. When entering a roundabout, you should always turn left and travel counterclockwise. Answer. False. When entering a roundabout, you should turn right and travel clockwise, yielding to vehicles already in the roundabout. Question 7. The proper hand signal for a right turn is A. Left arm extended straight out B. Left arm extended upward at a right angle C. Left arm extended downward at a right angle Answer B. Left arm extended upward at a right angle The proper hand signal for a right turn is the left arm extended upward at a right angle with the palm facing forward Question 8 True or false? Headlights must be turned on from sunset to sunrise and whenever visibility is reduced to 500 feet or less. Answer. True. Headlights must be turned on from sunset to sunrise and whenever visibility is reduced to 500 feet or less due to fog, rain, snow, or other weather conditions. Question 9. When approaching a stop sign, you should A. Slow down and proceed without stopping if the way is clear. B. Come to a complete stop and proceed when it is safe to do so. C. Stop only if there is traffic approaching the intersection. Answer. B. Come to a complete stop and proceed when it is safe to do so. When approaching a stop sign, you must come to a complete stop and only proceed when it is safe and the right of way has been established. Question 10. True or false? In Kentucky, it is legal to text while driving if you are over the age of 18. Answer. False. In Kentucky, it is illegal to text while driving for all drivers, regardless of age. Question 11. When making a left turn at a green arrow, you should A. Yield to oncoming traffic. B. Wait for a green light before proceeding. C. Proceed without yielding as you have the right of way. Answer. C. Proceed without yielding as you have the right of way. When making a left turn at a green arrow, you have the right of way and can proceed without yielding to oncoming traffic. Question 12. True or false? The speed limit in a Kentucky residential area is typically 25 miles per hour unless otherwise posted. Answer. True. The speed limit in a Kentucky residential area is typically 25 miles per hour unless otherwise posted. Question 13. When approaching a railroad crossing with flashing lights, you should A. Proceed with caution. B. 
stop and wait for the train to pass. C. Accelerate to cross the tracks quickly. Answer. B. Stop and wait for the train to pass. When approaching a railroad crossing with flashing lights, you must stop and wait for the train to pass, as it has the right of way. Question 14. True or false? You may not park within 20 feet of a crosswalk at an intersection. Answer. True. You may not park within 20 feet of a crosswalk at an intersection to ensure the visibility of pedestrians and other vehicles. Question 15. When two vehicles arrive at an uncontrolled intersection at the same time, the blank has the right of way. A. Vehicle on the left. B. Vehicle on the right. C. Vehicle that arrived first. Answer. B. Vehicle on the right. When two vehicles arrive at an uncontrolled intersection at the same time, the vehicle on the right has the right of way. Question 16. True or false? You must yield the right of way to emergency vehicles with their lights and sirens activated, even if you have a green traffic light. Answer. True. You must yield the right of way to emergency vehicles with their lights and sirens activated, regardless of traffic signals or signs. Question 17. When driving on a two-lane road with a solid yellow line on your side, you may A. Pass when it is safe to do so. B. Not pass under any circumstances. C. Only pass if the vehicle in front of you is traveling below the speed limit. Answer. B. Not pass under any circumstances. When driving on a two-lane road with a solid yellow line on your side, you may not pass, as it indicates a no-passing zone. Question 18. True or false? When approaching a stopped school bus with its red lights flashing and stop arm extended, you must stop at least 50 feet away. Answer. False. When approaching a stopped school bus with its red lights flashing and stop arm extended, you must stop at least 25 feet away. Question 19. In Kentucky, the minimum following distance under normal conditions is A. 2 seconds B. 3 seconds C. 4 seconds Answer. A. 2 seconds In Kentucky, the minimum following distance under normal conditions is 2 seconds. However, it is recommended to maintain a 3 to 4 second following distance for additional safety. Question 20. True or false? It is illegal to drive with headphones or earbuds in both ears. Answer. True. It is illegal to drive with headphones or earbuds in both ears, as it can reduce your ability to hear sirens, horns, or other important sounds. Question 21. When driving in a construction zone, you should A. Maintain your normal speed. B. Increase your speed to pass through the zone quickly. C. Slow down and follow posted signs and signals. Answer. C. Slow down and follow posted signs and signals. When driving in a construction zone, you should slow down and follow posted signs and signals to ensure the safety of workers and other motorists. Question 22. True or false? It is legal to make a right turn on a red traffic light after coming to a complete stop, unless a sign prohibits it. Answer. True. It is legal to make a right turn on a red traffic light after coming to a complete stop, unless a sign prohibits it. Be sure to yield to pedestrians and other traffic before proceeding. Question 23. When backing out of a parking space, you should A. Rely solely on your mirrors. B. Look over your right shoulder while backing up. C. Look over your left shoulder while backing up. Answer. C. Look over your left shoulder while backing up. When backing out of a parking space, you should look over your left shoulder while backing up, as well as check your mirrors, to ensure the area behind your vehicle is clear. Question 24. True or false? When driving on a multi-lane road, you should stay in the right lane except to pass or turn left. Answer. True. When driving on a multi-lane road, you should stay in the right lane except to pass or turn left. The left lane is typically designated for faster moving traffic and passing. Question 25. When approaching a flashing yellow traffic light, you should 
A. Stop and wait for a green light. B. Proceed with caution. C. Accelerate to clear the intersection quickly. Answer. B. Proceed with caution. When approaching a flashing yellow traffic light, you should proceed with caution, as it indicates there may be cross traffic or other hazards ahead. Question 26. True or false? You may make a U-turn at an intersection with a no U-turn sign if there is no traffic. Answer. False. You may not make a U-turn at an intersection with a no U-turn sign, regardless of traffic conditions. Question 27. In Kentucky, a child under the age of blank must be secured in a child safety seat or booster seat. A. 6. B. 8. C. 10. Answer. B. 8. In Kentucky, a child under the age of 8 must be secured in a child safety seat or booster seat, according to their height and weight. Question 28. True or false? If you are involved in a crash, you must stop and exchange information with the other driver, even if there is only minor damage. Answer. True. If you are involved in a crash, you must stop and exchange information with the other driver, regardless of the severity of the damage. Question 29. When driving in heavy rain or snow, you should A. Use your high beam headlights B. Use your low beam headlights C. Use your hazard lights Answer B. Use your low beam headlights When driving in heavy rain or snow, you should use your low beam headlights to increase visibility and reduce glare for other drivers. Question 30. True or false? In Kentucky, it is legal for passengers to consume alcohol in a vehicle as long as they are not driving. Answer. False. In Kentucky, it is illegal for passengers to consume alcohol in a vehicle, regardless of whether they are driving. Question 31. When a traffic signal is not functioning, you should A. Proceed without stopping. B. Treat the intersection as a four-way stop. C. Yield to the vehicle on the right. Answer. B. Treat the intersection as a four-way stop. When a traffic signal is not functioning, you should treat the intersection as a four-way stop, taking turns with other vehicles and proceeding when it is safe to do so. Question 32. True or false? In Kentucky, you must signal at least 100 feet before making a turn. Answer. True. In Kentucky, you must signal at least 100 feet before making a turn to give other drivers and pedestrians ample warning. Question 33. When approaching a curve, you should A. Accelerate to maintain your speed. B. Brake while in the curve. C. Slow down before entering the curve. Answer. C. Slow down before entering the curve. When approaching a curve, you should slow down before entering the curve to maintain control of your vehicle and avoid drifting into other lanes. Question 34. True or false? It is legal to use a handheld cell phone while driving in Kentucky. Answer. False. It is illegal to use a handheld cell phone while driving in Kentucky. Drivers should use hands-free devices or pull over to a safe location to make calls. Question 35. When a school bus is stopped with its red lights flashing and stop arm extended, you must stop at least blank feet away. A. 15 B. 25 C. 50 Answer. B. 25 When a school bus is stopped with its red lights flashing and stop arm extended, you must stop at least 25 feet away to ensure the safety of students boarding or exiting the bus. Question 36. True or false? You must yield the right of way to a funeral procession, regardless of traffic signals. Answer. True. You must yield the right of way to a funeral procession, regardless of traffic signals. Be respectful and patient while the procession passes. Question 37. When driving on a road with a double yellow line, you may A. Cross the line to pass other vehicles. B. Cross the line only if the vehicle in front of you is traveling below the speed limit. C. Not cross the line under any circumstances. Answer. C. 
not cross the line under any circumstances. A double yellow line indicates a no-passing zone, and you may not cross the line to pass other vehicles. Question 38. True or false? You may make a left turn on a red light from a one-way street onto another one-way street, unless a sign prohibits it. Answer. True. You may make a left turn on a red light from a one-way street onto another one-way street, unless a sign prohibits it. Be sure to come to a complete stop and yield to pedestrians and other traffic before proceeding. Question 39. A solid white line between lanes of traffic means A. You may change lanes with caution. B. You should not change lanes. C. You must change lanes. Answer. B. You should not change lanes. A solid white line between lanes of traffic indicates that you should not change lanes, as it may be unsafe to do so. Question 40. True or false? You may park in a handicapped parking space if you will only be there for a few minutes. Answer. False. You may not park in a handicapped parking space unless you have a valid handicapped parking permit, regardless of the duration of your stay. Question 41. The minimum speed limit on Kentucky interstate highways is A. 45 miles per hour B. 40 miles per hour C. 35 miles per hour Answer. A. 45 miles per hour The minimum speed limit on Kentucky interstate highways is 45 miles per hour, unless otherwise posted. Driving below the minimum speed limit can be dangerous and may result in a traffic violation. Question 42. True or false, you should use your high beam headlights when driving in fog. Answer. False. You should use your low beam headlights when driving in fog, as high beams can reflect off the fog and reduce visibility. Question 43. When you see a yield sign, you should A. Stop and wait for a gap in traffic. B. Slow down and give the right of way to other vehicles. C. Continue without slowing down. Answer. B. Slow down and give the right of way to other vehicles. When you see a yield sign, you should slow down and give the right of way to other vehicles, proceeding only when it is safe to do so. Question 44. True or false? You should always use your turn signal when changing lanes. Answer. True. You should always use your turn signal when changing lanes to alert other drivers of your intention and ensure safe lane changes. Question 45. When parking on a hill facing uphill with a curb, you should turn your wheels. A. Away from the curb. B. Toward the curb. C. Parallel to the curb. Answer. A. Away from the curb. When parking on a hill facing uphill with a curb, you should turn your wheels away from the curb. If the vehicle rolls, it will roll into the curb, preventing it from rolling into traffic. Question 46. True or false? You may drive in a bicycle lane to pass another vehicle. Answer. False. You may not drive in a bicycle lane to pass another vehicle. Bicycle lanes are designated for the exclusive use of bicyclists. Question 47. When approaching a roundabout, you should A. Yield to vehicles already in the roundabout. B. Enter the roundabout without yielding. C. Stop and wait for a gap in traffic. Answer. A. Yield to vehicles already in the roundabout. When approaching a roundabout, you should yield to vehicles already in the roundabout and enter when it is safe to do so. Question 48. True or false, you must always come to a complete stop before turning right on a red traffic light. Answer. True. You must always come to a complete stop before turning right on a red traffic light unless a sign prohibits it. Be sure to yield to pedestrians and other traffic before proceeding. Question 49. If you are involved in a crash and someone is injured, you should A. Move the injured person away from the scene. B. Not move the injured person unless they are in immediate danger. C. Administer first aid, even if you are not trained. Answer. B. Not move the injured person unless they are in immediate danger.
If you are involved in a crash and someone is injured, you should not move the injured person unless they are in immediate danger, as moving them may worsen their injuries. Call for emergency assistance immediately. Question 50. True or false? You must stop for a pedestrian in a crosswalk, even if the pedestrian is crossing against the traffic signal. Answer. True. You must stop for a pedestrian in a crosswalk, regardless of the traffic signal. Pedestrian safety is a priority, and drivers should exercise caution and remain alert for pedestrians at all times. Question 51. When driving on a road with a shared center lane for left turns, you should A. Use the shared center lane for passing slower vehicles B. Use the shared center lane for making left turns only C. Use the shared center lane for making right turns Answer B. Use the shared center lane for making left turns only when driving on a road with a shared center lane for left turns, you should use the shared center lane for making left turns only, not for passing or making right turns. Question 52. True or false? You must always signal when pulling away from a curb. Answer. True. You must always signal when pulling away from a curb to alert other drivers and pedestrians of your intention to re-enter traffic. Question 53. When driving in a school zone during posted hours, the speed limit is a. 25 miles per hour, b. 35 miles per hour, c. 45 miles per hour. Answer a. 25 miles per hour. When driving in a school zone during posted hours, the speed limit is 25 miles per hour unless otherwise posted. Be cautious and watch for children and crossing guards. Question 54. True or false, when two vehicles arrive at an uncontrolled intersection at the same time, the vehicle on the left should yield to the vehicle on the right. Answer. True. When two vehicles arrive at an uncontrolled intersection at the same time, the vehicle on the left should yield to the vehicle on the right. Question 55. The maximum speed limit on most Kentucky highways it is A. 55 miles per hour B. 65 miles per hour, C. 70 miles per hour. Answer B. 65 miles per hour. The maximum speed limit on most Kentucky highways is 65 miles per hour unless otherwise posted. Be sure to obey posted speed limits and adjust your speed according to road and weather conditions. Question 56. True or false? If your vehicle starts to hydroplane, you should gently pump your brakes. Answer, false. If your vehicle starts to hydroplane, you should ease off the accelerator and steer in the direction you want to go. Do not apply the brakes or turn the steering wheel sharply, as this may cause a skid. Question 57. When parallel parking, you should park within blank inches of the curb. A, 6, B, 12, C, 18. Answer, B, 12. When parallel parking, you should park within 12 inches of the curb to ensure your vehicle is not obstructing traffic. Question 58. True or false? You should always use your turn signal when entering or exiting a roundabout. Answer. True. You should always use your turn signal when entering or exiting a roundabout to alert other drivers and pedestrians of your intentions. Question 59. When approaching a railroad crossing with flashing lights, you should A. Slow down and proceed with caution B. Stop and wait for the train to pass C. Accelerate to cross the tracks quickly Answer B. Stop and wait for the train to pass When approaching a railroad crossing with flashing lights, you should stop and wait for the train to pass, as the flashing lights indicate a train is approaching Question 60 True or false? If an emergency vehicle with flashing lights is approaching from behind, you should pull over to the right and stop. Answer. True. If an emergency vehicle with flashing lights is approaching from behind, you should pull over to the right and stop, allowing the emergency vehicle to pass. Do not block intersections or driveways.